there are two different ways of thinking of the origins of the Poisson distribution. The first way concerns the Poisson distribution as the limit of a binomial random variable as n goes to infinity. The second, which is going to begin here, is thinking of the Poisson distribution in terms of something that is known as a Poisson process. Now the general notion behind a Poisson process is that events occur over time or space in a random fashion. We'll come back to this time or space notion uh, a little bit later, but for right now we're going to think of events occurring over time and in this example the events will be arrivals to a uh, yogurt factory and they are going to occur over time. So here's the example. Sven and, Ver and Barry's very Berry yogurt factory is doing a booming business. During their peak arrival time they average 30 customer arrivals per hour develop a probability model for arrivals. We are going to make three different attempts at a model starting with the very simplest and then making it slightly more sophisticated going forward. So here is attempt number one and this is the easiest way to model a an arrival process with 30 customers per hour and that is just have them arrive every two minutes. So this is just kind of like delivering the customers on a conveyor belt to uh, Sven and Barry's yogurt factory. And so if you took this particular model to Sven and Barry and asked them, what do you think of that? They would probably say, no good. That's not the way customers come into our, our shop. They come in in a much more random fashion, no good. So attempt number one is a fail. And here comes attempt number two. Now on attempt number two, this is much more sophisticated. Going to divide each one minute interval along the time axis into an equally likely opportunity for a customer arrival. So during each minute, a fair coin will be flipped. And if that, if that coin comes up heads, then you generate an arrival in the middle of that time interval. So if you look at this first time interval right here, we got a head so we have a rival. And then another head, and then another head, and then we got a tail, and it looks like maybe a second tail, yeah. And then a head, and then a head, and on it goes. And that is one way of generating an arrival process. It turns out the number of arrivals that occurs during the hour is binomial with parameters n equals 60 and p equals 0.5. Now why is that? You have 60 different coin tosses and on each coin toss if it is a fair coin which we are assuming then each each uh, flip will generate a head with probability 0.5. Now why was it done this way? Because you know that the mean of the binomial distribution is n times p so if you take 60 times 1 half, you get 30 arrivals, and that's what Sven and Barry asked for. If you look at these five realizations, you have five time axes out here. This is time along this way. Starts at 0 and goes to 60. Notice that now you're getting fewer than 30 on the first one, much more than 30 on the second one, and Sven and Barry would be happy with this model because what they would say is this is what happens on some days we get fewer arrivals on some days we get more than 30 arrivals and that's what we want. Now would Sven and Barry complain about this at all? My guess is that they would look, look at certain things they wouldn't like like for example look here here you have all of these five arrivals occurring at exactly the same point in time and during this minute on all five arrivals just by chance you didn't get any arrivals they'd say things are kind of lined up so at this point you could go to attempt number three and do even better you could divide the hour instead of dividing it by minutes you could divide it into seconds so in an hour you have 3600 seconds and on each second you flip a coin but this time it's not a fair coin rather it is a bias coin 
and the probability of success is p equals 1 120th. So on the first second, you flip a bias coin, and the chances are 119 out of 120, you'll get a tail. So there's no arrival there, and on and on it goes. And finally, you get one of these heads right here. Now, where did this number 1 over 120 come from? Well, we know if we have n equals 3,600 trials, which is what you have, one for each second during the hour. And furthermore, if you have a probability of success of 1 over 120, as you do here, then in that case what you have is you have n times p coming out to be 30 arrivals per hour. Now the arrivals are not lining up the way they did once before. And day to day it varies. Notice here we have a, a very busy day, this fourth day here had 37 arrivals, very, very busy. And the fifth day just had 17 arrivals, so that was a light day. They aren't lining up the way they were before. And Sven and Barry would like this because they would say this is just the way it works during our rush periods. We get these clusters, and here's an example of a cluster of arrivals. Here's another cluster right here of arrivals. And then we also get these periods where there are no arrivals and they would say that's more consistent with what we get in practice. So here are some notes on the progression of the models. We let n get larger and larger. In other words, we started it from 60, took it up to 3600. As n was getting larger, p was getting smaller, but mu, which was n times p, was kept at Sven and Barry's criteria which is 30 customers per hour. So really what we have here is in the limit as n goes to infinity we recognize this as the binomial I'm sorry the Poisson approximation to the binomial so in the limit as n goes to infinity the number of arrivals during the hour turns out to be Poisson with a mean of 30 customers per hour. This is where the term Poisson process comes in because the number of arrivals in any interval has the Poisson distribution. Here are a couple key properties and these are key properties associated with an interval width which was attempt number three there of one thirty six hundredth of an hour which is the same as one second and an arrival rate of lambda equals 30 customers per hour. The probability of an arrival during one particular interval is lambda, which is the rate, 30 customers per hour, times w, which is the interval width, 1 hundredth, and that probability is 1 over 120. In a Poisson process, we assume that the probability of two people walking through the door at exactly the same time is zero. We eliminate the possibility of ties. And finally, the probability of an arrival during a time interval is independent of the previous history of the arrivals. In other words, the coin has no memory. It doesn't remember what has happened in the past.